Morning everybody, Chad from Six Blog Stick. Uh, this morning I just want to do a kind of an update to my video I did yesterday. Uh, yesterday I did the comparison video uh, between the 1210 alcohol stove and the Starlight stove. Um, and since putting that up there's been a few people that's commented uh, about using the regular Starlight stove as opposed to the modified Starlight stove uh, with bigger cook pots such as this. Um, it was my understanding that Zelf had specifically created the modified uh, Starlights to work uh, along the entire line of the Caldera cones. Uh, however, after reading some of the comments uh, that other folks have posted, uh, that might not be the case. Um, either way, uh, after reading them, I was prompted to remove the, uh, the little choke ring that, uh, that Zelf had installed on the modified version. And I'm going to give it a try this morning using the same uh, scenario I did yesterday. Two cups of water, one ounce of the same denatured alcohol. Um, got my 1.3 liter Evernew cook pod, and of course my cone is in there. I just have to put it together. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing and see if I get different results. And then I'm going to use the water for coffee. Uh, thanks to some of the folks also, I'm trying this uh, Vena Cafe coffee. Uh, it's alright so far. Anyway, so back to the stove. So what I've done, as you can see here, this is the stove now. This is like an original Starlight here. This is the ring that used to sit inside it to create the modified version. What I did is uh, this lip was kind of loose on one side. So I just went ahead this morning and I just pulled this off. Uh, and then I took everything apart. And then I just simply left the ring out when I put it back on. I did take a little bit of JB Weld, uh, some of the JB Quick Weld, and kind of welded it back. Just put a little thin layer all around the inside, so that shouldn't be coming off now. Um, also, like one other co poster commented about simmer rings, I could still carry this uh, inside, like so. And uh, if I wanted to, I'm not a big fan of adding simmer rings, but if I wanted to, I could always take this and throw it on the stove after it's going and continue cooking and that'll that'll choke it down to give me the the previous burn mode and it'll choke it down give me a little bit more time I'm not sure I'm gonna do that but it is an option but anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get everything set up here and uh, take it from there Okay guys, you can see here we're coming up on about 6 minutes and 20 seconds and I can hear um, it's getting pretty close to a boil. It's not, uh, it's actually boiling, it's just not a hard heavy rolling boil. Um, so far it looks like it's put the Starlight stove now, it's kind of came down to uh, closer to the same boiling time as the uh, 1210. Uh, yesterday, if you remember, the 1210 came to a boil at 650, whereas the Starlight with the modified uh, cone on it came to a boil around uh, 10 minutes. And it's 6 minutes and 50 seconds now, and it's, it's a hard rolling boil. So that's definitely increased the uh, boil time uh, on the Starlight by removing that simmer ring, which uh, is expected. Uh, my curiosity now is going to be how long is this going to burn? Um, the 1210 stove that got a, a boil at the same time as this stove now, uh, yesterday it boiled uh, until 11 minutes and 20 seconds, whereas the Starlight burned until um, actually almost 18 minutes. So now I'm going to wait and see how long this boils. Uh, and Once it gets done boiling I'm going to Add it to my coffee and have a have a drink of coffee. Uh, again, I want to say thanks to my readers. Uh, I appreciate all your feedback. Um, in this particular case, Jason was the first one uh, to make a comment uh, asking about it. And I had actually replied to Jason and told him that uh, it was my opinion that the Starlights were designed as a modified stove to work across the uh, Caldera Cone lineup. Uh, however, another poster by the name of Garth came in afterwards and said 
Uh, actually, I'd spoke with Dan, and uh, he actually recommended uh, using a regular, the original Starlight without the, the choke ring in it, uh, for bigger cook pots. I think he said the ECA 252 and up. I believe the ECA 252 is the 0.9 liter, uh, same as this, except it's 0.9 liter. I'm not sure. I actually have that one. Um, and then another poster, um, let's see, Jay Mole. Uh, he came on and kind of reinforced the whole um, using a, a original Starlight stove on bigger cook pots like this. So, uh, guys, I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you first off just coming to check out my site, uh, and then I really appreciate your feedback like that. Uh, like I said, I, I only I only get so many you know stoves and so much stuff to work with. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to comment on some of the other stuff. So I really appreciate you guys' feedback that's, uh, that's been out there and used this stuff and uh, can share this. I, it helps me, uh, and then, of course, you know, hopefully it will help others that come through and, and uh, check out the site and, of course, read the comments. So, guys, keep it up. I appreciate everything that you do. Thank you. Okay, guys. About 10 minutes, 45 seconds. And it looks like the starlight is dying out. You can see there's still a little bit of a boil going, but um, actually I think it's uh, it's pretty much done. Uh, it's 11 minutes, still a little bit of a boil going. So I'm going to say that the uh, starlight without the, uh, the choke ring on it, uh, it's basically going to burn the same in this 1.3 liter setup as the 1210 stove uh, as far as boil time and as far as um, burnout time it's pretty much on par at least in my experiences yesterday morning and this morning so there it is guys I'm gonna have my coffee this morning and uh, I appreciate you watching like I said, again, thanks to the guys that uh, came and uh, pointed out uh, that I could use the uh, Starlight stove without the choke ring on it. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody's feedback, and I hope you continue to come and uh, support my site. Thank you, guys.